day I was woken up uh, in the middle of the night, not by my cats this time, but by a nightmare that I think the ghost of my grandma came in to help me get out of. Uh, I have nightmares pretty much every night, but this was a particularly bad one. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of it, my grandma showed up and hugged me and told me she loved me until I woke up. And I'm about to cry. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to film a video now. I also might be having, if my voice sounds weird, I might be having a mild allergic reaction to some Thai food I ate last night. Um, because I'm allergic to all kinds of seafood, not just shellfish, but fish too. And... The menu didn't say that there was fish in this particular thing, but based on the reaction I'm having, maybe they used like fish oil or something as part of the broth in the soup, which I know isn't uncommon, but anyways, or I'm just getting sick, who knows. Um, also, if you hear little squeakies, that's little man. Uh, but anyways, the video today is actually, uh, a month ago I got a haul of About Face products. Um, and so this is a follow-up to that, and it's a review of the products in full. Uh, so basically I'm just going to talk about what it's like. I haven't been using them, like, every day, because I don't do makeup every day, but I've used them a decent amount, I'll say. Definitely, like, multiple times each. And it's time for the follow-up review of them. Alright, so... Just as a little refresher on what I got. So I got the Naughty Nice or Neutral, I think it was, lip kit. So that's one of the matte liquid lipsticks, a lip liner, and a lip gloss. I got the limited edition teal mascara. I got the shade Champagne Room of the uh, Cheek Freak Balm Blush. I got the shade Unrestrained, which is like a purpley shade of the liquid highlighter. I got the shade Ice Dusted in the powder highlighter. I got two of the Cherry Pick lip balms, uh, lip butters in Watermelon Take and Date Me. I got this uh, gel liner, Line Artist gel liner, pencil, gel pencil in the shade what shade are you? What shade are you? Eternal Sunshine. Uh, I got two of the matte fluid eye paints in the shades, let's see here, No Queen Blues and Smoke Signal. These were also a part of a bundle that also came with the eye primer. Um, most of this was like bundle stuff because that's a good way to try things. So we're going to be reviewing those products now today. Oh, hey, little man, what are you doing over there? He's trying to bury. He's very bad at burying when he uses the litter box. It's both funny and a little bit sad. Like, we've- he's gone to the vet, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just not very good at it. It's- it's strange. Like, his eyesight isn't bad or anything, he just is not good at burying. I don't- I don't know. Um, yeah? Do you wanna come say hi? He likes being held and picked up the least, but he'll tolerate it for some amounts of time. Say hi, little man. Say hi. Oh, oh. I just want everybody to see your wonderful eyes. Look at how good his eyes are. And look at his belly. He's kind of a bowling ball. We actually did talk to the vet about, apparently the, uh, oh no, I put him in my chair. He's never gonna leave now. We actually talked to the vet about, like, why he suddenly got really fat as soon as we sw had to swap over to a medicated food for one of our other cats, which they said was okay to put all our cats on because it basically helps prevent like urinary crystals from forming, so might as well. And they were like, oh yeah, it can be high in calories, so it maybe like we'll, fi we'll try to see about like switching you to a low calorie version of the same food. But that's why he chonked That's why he chonked up overnight out of nowhere. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, you're gonna get down for me? Okay. Also, I'm wearing my So Much for Stardust shirt. Um, I got the bundle. You remember when it was Heartbreak Feels So Good was mislabeled as track two on Spotify? I got that merch that day of. 
that's the only merch that I've got so far. Maybe I'll get more because the album did make me cry very hard. Uh, but so far, this is the merch I have. I'm happy with it. Also, it came with a CD that had an autograph in it, which is very, very fun. Um, anyways, okay. Yeah, uh, so much for Stardust made me cry super hard. Anyhow, about face. I am going to start off with, let me see here. I'm going to start off with the lip kit because I think this might be my favorite thing that I got, honestly. First of all, they're just nice. It's just a nice color on me. Like, so this, this is more of a, on the website, this particular lip pencil, which is in the shade... Little Little is described as being like a mauve -y sort of color. It definitely is cooler toned. Uh, and then this is more of like a true brown, not your baby. Like this is a, a brown brown. Oh, I almost swiped my nose on my new merch. I managed not to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the life of someone who has allergies year round and is just allergic to dust and everything. It's just, it's just unconscious doing that. Jeepers. Anyways. And then this is also like a very brown sort of, this is called Double Clutch, it's the lip gloss. Now, if you remember from my original video, there was a bit of a concern because as it turned, yes, sir? One second, one second. Hi, back, he wanted out. Um, there was a bit of a concern because it turned out that there was both lavender oil and in one of them, some eucalyptus, I believe or there was at least lavender oil in uh, one of the products. I think there was eucalyptus in the lipstick and lavender oil in the lip gloss, and I am allergic to both of those. Uh, but I'm not like instant anaphylactic shock allergic, it's more like affects my asthma allergic. So I tried them anyway, and I am happy to say that the smell goes away after a bit. I get a slight tingling on my lips, but it goes away quickly as well. So it's not enough of a concentration to make me have an extreme allergic reaction. Uh, so I can still wear the products, which is very nice because I like to be able to use things that I buy, uh, especially because I really like this lip combo on me. So I would say that is probably my favorite thing that I bought from the brand. All right, next up, I'm going to keep to the theme of lips. I think we'll go lips... Uh, cheeks and then eyes in terms of reviewing things. Uh, the Cherry Pick Lip Butters. These are a little confusing because they don't smell like cherry. They actually smell like peach. Like a very, very strong peach scent, which is strange. It also reminds me of a church for some reason. There's this like specific church. I didn't actually go to this church, like I wasn't a part of it, but my friend went to the after school program of this church and I just wanted to hang out with my friend, so I went with her. And then went to a weekend overnight camp with her for this same church. And it was very, it was a very strange experience. Anyways, um, but, so these are the two shades I got, and they are definitely moisturizing for the lips. They thick, um, and they... So they're very nice. The colors are great. They feel good on the lips. Like they're, they're good. I'm a little concerned about the packaging. The packaging is like this extremely thick colored plastic and I am not sure of its like recyclability. I mean, I, I know we all kind of know that recyclable plastic is a little, a little bit of a fallacy because a lot of companies won't actually do it or it'll sit in recycling places for years and not get recycled because it's extremely expensive. So, uh, it, stuff isn't recycled at the rate that we think it is. But even so, this is, it, I don't know, it feels a little, it's just really, really thick. I don't know, something about it. Um, but anyways, other than that, the product itself tastes very strongly like you can really really taste it when you're wearing it and like I've worn a lot of lip products I own a lot of lip products and usually the only ones that I can actually taste in my mouth are the ones that have sunscreen in them you know SPF but these you can really really taste it um even when you like you know take a tissue and you go in order to get it out of the like in the inner rim of your mouth you can really taste it 
and it's not a fun taste. Like it, it's it's kind of reminiscent of getting sunscreen in your mouth, but it's not that specific sunscreen flavor, but it's the strength, the same strength. So they look really nice, but they're a little difficult to wear because of the strength of the smell, which actually honestly triggered my asthma even more than this. And the uh, taste. Like, the smell does go away after a bit, but it's really strong at first, and it's like this very, like, peachy sort of smell. Which is confusing, because they're called Cherry Pick, but then they're also all named after different fruits. I don't know. I'll probably buy more, because I like the feeling of them. I like them as a lip balm, but... Yeah. Downsides to that one. On to Cheek. The Cheek Freak Blush Balm. I was a little worried that this packaging would like become very loose quite quickly. As you can see, I've used it enough that I wore the About Face logo out of it and also accidentally stabbed it with my nail. Um, I was worried that this would come loose because there's no actual clasp on it and thus it would dry out the product, but it actually snaps closed really well and it stays closed. Um, the packaging is, as still feels so good. It's just like, oh, this nice matte type. This is also, pla all of it's plastic. All of it is like a little concerned about like wastefulness, but also I guess like I, I kind of can't be too up in arms about that because I am a part of the problem of hyper consumerism. I own so much makeup and I don't use a lot of it. Anyways, uh, enough of that self-reflection. It's not bad, but it's very like, so here, I'm gonna swirl my finger in it. So I don't know if you could, uh, why did I swirl the shaky hand in it? Oh my God. Okay, let me hold that wrist. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's an almost chalkiness to it. Like it's settling, here, let me bring you closer. Let me, let me do this. There we go. Okay, so do you see the way that it's settling into the, like, my fingerprints, like, the lines of my finger? You see the way that it's settling in like that, and it's, like, kind of bunched up, and it looks a little, like, chalkish? It, it does that on the face, too. Like, it's not like a, it's not like a dewy flush where it, like, if it bunches, it's a little more excusable because it's more luminous. It's, it's more of a, like, matte sort of almost like not not super matte but because it's a cream but like sort of and so like I have a lot of pores and acne scars and such that it can settle into and it does um which I don't adore just because I don't like little pockets of color in my face that are like really obvious but uh it is a nice color the formula is a little strange. Like, I usually use my fingers for it because that's what's recommended on the website. And I have tried it with a beauty blender as well, like, or a beauty sponge, like a wet one, and also a brush. The fingers are definitely the best route. It didn't really pick up, sorry for the odd, like I said, woken up by my grandma's ghost from a bad nightmare. Um, it didn't really pick up on the wet beauty sponge very much, and with the brush, sort of the same story. So the fingers are definitely best for it. I would say I'm sort of lukewarm on this product. I might buy another color and see if maybe it's like, because sometimes formulation can vary by color, and there's another color in this that I'm kind of interested in. So I might, I might go ahead and buy another color and see if there's a difference between that. Also, I really like the packaging and it's really, really pretty and I like owning pretty things. I like owning colors. I was that kid who would always try to buy the biggest set of colored pencils or markers or crayons. Not because I have any like artistic skill when it comes to drawing because I can't draw for the life of me, but just because I like owning colors and I would just scribble the colors on a paper and just be happy with that. And that's kind of how I feel about makeup. <sighs> anyway, liquid highlighter. I quite like this. It's a little bit dark for me. It was the lightest shade that they had available at the time, and I think still the lightest shade they have available. I don't think that they've restocked on their other lighter shades, um, but I really like this. It looks very nice. It's very, like, dewy. I've applied it with my finger. I've applied it with uh, a brush. I've applied it with a beauty sponge. I'd say that the beauty sponge is probably my favorite method that I've used to apply it so far, damp beauty sponge. Um, the, like I said, the color is a little dark, but it's very sheeny, it's very luminous, it's like not too bah, 
but it's also not like super subtle like or, or it is subtle but it's not it's not not there. I've used some highlighters where it's like there's nothing there and I've used some highlighters where it's like there's too much there and this is a very very nice balance of that. I really really like this. The powder highlighter. The packaging is a little funny. Uh, there's no like look if you see there there's no holder for opening it so I have to sort of hold the side because it's this asymmetrical sort of shape so I have to sort of hold the side to open it up it's not hard to open but that is a little strange here's the highlighting product all right and it's nice it's nice it's a little it's not one of my like brighter ones and I would say that the white cast on this shade in particular is quite heavy um so even on me so this shade is probably not for people with deeper complexions, I'd say, unless like you really work it in. But like the white cast is pretty, pretty hefty on there. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Um, here, I'll pop a little bit on real quick. Like from a distance it's fine, it's just that up close I can tell that there's like a white powder on my face. But you know what? If you're not talking real close to people, who cares? Uh, it's very nice, it's very shiny. I probably would say that I, I think I need to get a different shade to make like a better judgment of the overall formula. Like a shade without the stark white base. Um, so I'm probably going to do that because I do really like it and I'd really like to be able to find out what it's like without that stark white sort of base to it. But it is very nice and very shiny. Alright, and now we are on to the last category, eyes. Alright, so first off we have the About Face Line Artist Li Gel Liner. Uh, this comes with the liner in the tip here. Boop, boop, boop. And then also a little sharpener in the back. It's fine. Um, it doesn't show up as brightly in the waterline as I wanted it to, I thought. But then my mom was like, no, that's... Apparently today is the day that the trash guys come and get the trash for the apartment complex. Anyways, we're gonna keep going in spite of that because I don't know how long that'll take and I need to maintain this energy because I have to go cleaning later um, for job. But anyways, so it's it. My mom said that it was really, really obvious in my waterline. I did try it a couple more times and it wasn't as non existent as I thought it was the first time around, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's... I can't really do it to do, like, a graphic liner like I wanted, because basically I have, like, you know, I have, like, little fuzzies and stuff. My skin isn't perfectly smooth, because nobody's skin is perfectly smooth. Um, and so it does catch a little bit sometimes, or, like, bundle up in funny places, but, like, if I do, like, just the line from out here, it's fine. I just can't do it into a wing or anything. But if I just do it like a line in here, which is about the smoothest part of me, it looks fine. Uh, so yeah, if there's another color in this that I find very unique, I'll probably buy it in the other very unique color. Um, I just wanted to get in a color I'm familiar with first to test the formula, but I wouldn't go out of my way to collect all of them. Mascara. So this is the limited edition teal mascara. Uh, I don't remember if this was meant to be more volumizing or more lengthening. Based on the brush, I would say it's probably meant to be more of a lengthening situation. Um, and it's quite good. I had to learn how to work with it, but not because it was a bad product, just because as it turns out, color emphasizes the droop of my eyelashes and makes me look kind of sad. <laughs> uh, so I did have to learn how, like, where to put it, but that's like a personal eye shape thing. It's, it's nothing to do with the product itself. It's very fun, and I like it, and I'm sad that it was limited edition, but I'm glad that I managed to pick it up. Uh, now we are going to talk about the eye primer. I'll leave the eye paints for last. The eye primer is a good eye primer. 
primer. It's very basic. It is meant to be smoothing. I would say it definitely achieves that. Um, it leaves a nice like barrier between eyeshadow and regular. I used it with some powder eyeshadow. It still works well with powder eyeshadow as well as the matte fluid eye paints. It feels very similar to both an e.l.f. and a Makeup Revolution eye primer that I've owned before in my life. Um, so I don't know if it's necessarily worth the price, but I'm not mad that I picked it up in a bundle because it's not bad. Matte Fluid Eye Paints. All right, so. I'm not super sure how I feel about them. I've used them a few times now. Uh, I've used them as eyeliner and as regular eyeshadow. I've used them above the lid. I've used them on the lower lash line. <coughs> I've used them to do like winged eyeliner stuff, I've used them to try to do like graphic things, and I think I need to pick up other shades before I do a full review because I'm, I'm lukewarm about the blue. The blue is difficult to build up and it tends to be a little patchier. Um, it's not like... It just tends to be a little patchier. It, it, it's not the most solid, opaque sort of color. Um, you can't really tell like from far away when you're doing that, but I do my makeup up close and so uh, I can tell. The green one, however, is extremely solid and there's no issues with patchiness whatsoever. Um, and it's, I also find it to be like easier to blend. Um, so I think I'll, I'll have to like take a look at some of the other shades in this. There are some shades that I'm interested in. I'm going to try some like neutral shades and some more pastel ones, but overall I think they're nice. I do like them. I see how they would be like very useful, especially in like a runway sort of setting or something like that, but, uh, they're, they're not, they're not my absolute favorite. The packaging is very nice though, I like the texture of the packaging. Overall, I would say that it's a strong brand. There was ups and downs with all the products I used, and a lot of them I'm just not totally sure how I feel about, uh, but I don't think that's a bad thing, necessarily. It just means that I have other stuff in my collection that I somewhat prefer, but I don't regret buying any of it, I think is the most important part. I don't regret buying any of it because I can get use out of all of it with certain looks that I want to do and I can definitely see the value and merit. So I don't regret buying any of it, it's just that none of it shot up into my absolute favorites. Alright, so I think for the next video, probably going to do that what I mentioned of talking about like some of my most used products and some of my favorite ones um and yeah i think that'll be the next video so uh and also i want to end this video by saying uh i hope that my the kind of the goal of my content honestly is to be like a long form chill video that you can pop on in the background of baking or homework or you know school uh regular work trying to fall asleep even uh like i just want to be like chill long form content basically because that's one of my favorite things i like being able to just pop a video on in the background of whatever i'm doing and and just enjoy that so that's kind of the aim of most of my videos which is why i usually don't yell very much or try to talk sort of lower um and they're, they're a little rambly and I don't cut out the rambles because I don't mind if people like are not fully paying attention, you know, I just want to ramble about things sometimes. Um, so yeah, if, if you use the videos for that, let me know because that is the exact goal of my content and it makes me pretty happy. Okay, this highlighter looks absolutely wild in the camera right now. You can't tell like the green, blue, or the white cast really in the camera. But let me tell you, in real life, you can see that it's green, you can see the blue, and I don't know. See, every time I look at it, I feel a little bit differently about it. I feel like, I feel like there's a white, a white cast there, but 
Also, maybe I'm imagining it. Who knows? Anyway, okay. 